A recently published video by Ukraine's Ministry of Defense has sparked speculation about the origins of certain military equipment used by Ukrainian forces. The footage, filmed at the 199th Training Center of the Air Assault Forces, shows artillery exercises involving self-propelled howitzers. Initially, many observers identified these vehicles as M109A6 Paladins, a modern and advanced model used by Western forces. However, a different theory has emerged, suggesting that the vehicles in question are instead M109A2 howitzers, potentially transferred discreetly by the Netherlands. The theory was first put forward by the Polish defense outlet Defense24, and further speculated by the X account at Jeff21461 in June 2024, which tracks arms transfers to Ukraine. According to the account, there were discussions of a potential delivery of these howitzers by the Netherlands. Several key details support this theory. One of the most compelling is the camouflage pattern on the vehicles, which closely resembles that used on M109A2 howitzers once operated by the Dutch Army. The pattern has been confirmed through photographic archives, and the visible wear on the howitzers suggests they had been stored for an extended period. This aging of the equipment aligns with the notion that these may be decommissioned assets now repurposed for training rather than frontline combat operations. Additionally, the design of the turrets seen in the video seems basic, lacking modern enhancements seen on the M109A6 Paladin, such as external sensors, enhanced armor, and a more angular shape. The visible cannon appears consistent with the M185 155mm model used on M109A2 and M109A3 variants, whereas the Paladin uses the more advanced M284 cannon mounted on a different cradle. Other details, such as the storage compartments at the rear of the turret, align with the typical configuration of M109A2-A3 models, further supporting the theory that these are M109A2S. The M109A2 is an upgraded version of the American M109 self-propelled howitzer, acquired by the Netherlands in the 1980s to modernize its artillery forces. It is equipped with a 155mm M185 cannon mounted on an M178 cradle, with a firing range of 18 km with conventional shells, and up to 24 km with rocket-assisted projectiles. The vehicle carries up to 36 shells and features an M2 Browning .50 caliber heavy machine gun for close defense. Powered by a Detroit Diesel 8V71T engine producing 405 horsepower, the M109A2 can reach a top speed of 56 km per hour and has an operational range of about 350 km. Though the Netherlands phased out its M109A2 fleet in the 1990s and early 2000s, some of these vehicles were stored and later sold or transferred to other countries. The simple reliable design of the M109A2 has made it a valuable asset for artillery support and training, even decades after its decommissioning. Its aluminum armor, though vulnerable to modern anti-armor weapons, offers protection against shrapnel and small arms fire. The Dutch government has yet to officially confirm any transfer of these howitzers to Ukraine. However, the discreet nature of military aid to Ukraine since the onset of the conflict makes such a move plausible. Numerous weapon systems and military assets, including drones and ammunition, have been delivered without public announcements, likely to avoid further escalating tensions with Russia. The use of M109A2S for training in Ukraine serves multiple strategic purposes. First, deploying older systems allows Ukraine to preserve its more advanced artillery for combat operations. The decision to employ these decommissioned units for training underscores the importance of providing realistic conditions for artillery crews. Even older, retired systems can provide valuable operational experience for personnel, especially in non-frontline roles. The M109A2S continued use in other countries such as Greece, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan and Lebanon, highlights their ongoing relevance, even as more advanced models like the M109A6 Paladin are being used by Western nations. Their presence in Ukraine reflects broader trends in military aid, where equipment is often sent without fanfare to support Ukraine's defense while minimizing direct confrontation with Russia. The case of the M109A2 howitzers in Ukraine is indicative of the complexities surrounding military assistance during the ongoing conflict. While these howitzers may be old, their practical capabilities make them valuable for training and non-combat roles. Furthermore, the reported transfer of these assets illustrates the strategic approach taken by European nations like the Netherlands, who provide assistance through discrete military transfers to avoid worsening diplomatic tensions. Such covert military support has allowed nations to contribute to Ukraine's defense efforts while maintaining a delicate balance in their relationships with Russia. If proven true, 
the potential delivery of M109A2S could serve as a model for future military aid under similar circumstances, demonstrating how nations can cooperate in Ukraine's defense without making overt public declarations that might escalate the situation. In conclusion, the potential presence of M109A2 howitzers in Ukraine sheds light on the ongoing, subtle forms of international military support that have been key to strengthening Ukraine's defenses amid the conflict. Despite their age, these systems remain a reliable resource for training and artillery support, highlighting the importance of strategic military aid in times of crisis. Thank you.